I know a lot of people out there use IBC totes for storage of firewood and some like transporting, delivering of firewood, but that's mostly what I use IBC totes for is transporting and just moving wood from a one location to either another location to stack it or take it from an already stacked location, put it in the totes and haul it into the woodshed. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to fill up these totes and get them ready to take in to the woodshed when I need them. So you might be asking, why don't I just have all of this wood sitting in the totes and seasoning in the totes and then just take the totes, you know, why don't I just split right into the tote? Well, the answer to that is I would need a lot of totes and I don't have a lot of totes. So what we do is, you can see behind me here, um, we just stack our wood in different locations and then in the fall and during the winter, as I need it to take it into the boiler, I just fill up these totes and I kind of just run a rotation with like six to eight, nine of them. So I'll, have the, I'll fill these all up today now. I'll stage them over there and then as I need them, take them in three at a time. And then as those three get empty, I'll bring them back like to this stack here, fill them up, have those ready to go. Yes, you can say it's more work. And yes, you can say work smarter and not harder. Sometimes you just have to put in that work and sometimes it isn't bad to do a little work. I mean, we're gonna come out here and spend maybe 10, 15 minutes loading these totes up. And I don't know, to me, that's just kind of like a nice way to end the day. And if you enjoy doing it, it doesn't work anyway. So the whole work smarter thing doesn't really apply. So all of the totes, one, two, three, four, five of them are loaded up. And again, this was just a nice little way to uh, uh, end the day. Amanda had just gotten home from work. I had just gotten done with work uh, before she went downstairs to work out. I said, hey, why don't you come on back to the wood yard, get a little warm up in, uh, you know, get the blood flowing. And it didn't take all that long. It was like on 10 minutes, 10, 11 minutes. That's all it took. Here are the totes. All five filled up. You can see this pallet is shot. So there is still a, there is still a good amount of wood left on this little hillside here. Um, the stacks over here are a little shorter than the other ones. They end right there. But there are still one, two, three, four, five, six, these half stacks left. So the big question is gonna be now, how long these totes last once we start burning? And then the other big question is, how many times will we be able to refill these five totes with what's left on the hillside here? I'm guessing these five totes will probably, one more time and they'll probably be just a little bit left. All right, so now that the totes are loaded up, I am gonna move them over 
to that location over there so they're all nice and staged and ready to go. I might need you to come back here and stand on the back of the tractor if I can't lift this tote up. <laughs> I think the coyote might be able to do it though. Alright, come on back. Give me some extra weight just in case. Ready? Perfect. So I forgot that I had one other tote that was half full uh, of some wood that I pulled off of. There was a little stack over here that I wanted to take in uh, to the boiler. So I loaded up this tote. It only filled it up halfway. So I'm gonna take this over to that other stack and top it off and then bring it back over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight totes ready to go, staged over here so that I can uh, haul them in when I need them. I will come back and put the tops on kind of like that just to kind of keep any future rain off of this wood, but it's been rain, this stuff has got rained on for like the last week. So I'm just gonna give it a few days to kind of dry out again and then I'll come back over here and put these tops on. The other thing I probably didn't mention in the beginning, um, some people will ask why I don't just take the bucket with the tractor, haul it in and dump it. The bucket of the tractor actually doesn't fit into the woodshed between the boiler and the corner post of the shed. So I'm not able to take the bucket and use that to just haul wood in there so there is what's left of the pile. You may notice that tree right there. That oak is dead and so is that one next to it. Um, that oak right there is dead. That one, those three are all dead. So there might be an opportunity back here once I get this cleaned up to uh, take this hillside, maybe knock it down a little bit more, maybe dig this out and this might be an area for future expansion. You never know. So like I mentioned, the big variable right now is gonna be how cold it gets. Uh, once we start up the boiler, I do have a bunch of wood in the woodshed right now. So I have to burn through that. Once I burn through that, we'll get in those eight totes. And again, it's gonna, that's gonna be the big, uh, the big X factor is how long those totes will last and then if what's up there, what's left on that hillside will be enough to fill all eight of those again. And then once that wood is gone from the hillside, that wood right back there, that will be next.